Hello and welcome to Motorpoint. I'm Tim and this is a Mazda MX-5 RF. It's sort of the automotive equivalent of riding on a banana with a biro. It doesn't really serve any practical purpose other than being fun and a reminder that life shouldn't always be serious. I'm gonna give you a minute to go away and find a banana because you're gonna to wanna to try this. It's amazing. And then we'll get going with a review. Yep, this is a pure two-seat sports car. It's engineered just to give you fun. It weighs just over a ton, so it's super lightweight. RF in the RF model stands for retractable fastbacks. This has got a metal folding hard top, which is all electrically operated. There is a regular MX-5 with a cloth one, so a little bit noisier. This weighs 45 kilograms more, and there are a few other tiny little differences that we'll come on to. All MX-5s get LED headlights, and I think from the front, it looks pretty mean. Not like Tyson Fury mean, but it's got a certain aggression about it. As you might have guessed by this giant oaf looming over it, the MX-5 is diddy. It's absolutely tiny. It's the same length as a modern three-door mini. And it's actually a really good thing that it's small because when you're driving it down a country road, you're not terrified of something coming the other way or clipping a door mirror on a passing badger. It's also vaguely soft as well, which is great when you live in a country whose roads have more potholes than the moon. It's designed to work in the real world and to give you real world thrills, which is not the name of my website. The back end of this version of the MX-5, which is called the ND version if you're being nerdy, and I am, is pretty, it's petite. Sure, it's not butch and aggressive like a Porsche or something like that. It's just its own Japanese thing. Now to open the boot, you press a hidden little button here and the boot is tiny. It's 130 liters in here. And to be honest, I've owned more practical motorbikes but this does have a neat trick up its sleeve, which we will demonstrate in the Motor Point Big Boot Challenge. Where the only challenge is not to think about writing on bananas with biros. I'm a bit addicted. Now, obviously I'm not gonna be able to fit this big boy in there. No, it's, it's just too big, but you can fit two carry-on bags into there, one on top of the other with a little bit of space to spare. You could squeeze some soft bags in there. You could go to Europe for a fortnight with your other half and bring back a little bit of wine and cheese. Maybe the odd marmot. No, don't steal wildlife from Austria. It's frowned upon. The Mazda MX-5's interior is a real exercise in everything you need, nothing you don't. The only frippery is these bit of body colored trim up here. But otherwise it's simple dials. You've got a very minimalist entertainment system. You control it using this little dial down here to keep your eyes on the road, or you can touch it if you want. It's got Apple CarPlay and Android Auto as well if you plug in. Uh, there's a little bit of storage here from a phone. There's a little cubby hole here, and there is one here as well for all your vitals. Oh yeah, and you've got a couple of USB sockets down there as well. But basically, it is small. You'll want to be friends with your passenger and you sit super low, but the whole point of this is obviously that it's a fun car to drive. So let's go out on the mean streets of Peterborough and see for ourselves. Right, we're gonna go for a drive in the MX-5 and you know I said it's tight. This is cameraman Alex. Say hello, cameraman Alex. <laughs> He's got his banana of terror. Now, the first thing you notice when you get in this car is just how low it is. You basically sit on the floor with your legs out in front of you like you should in a sports car, frankly. And the next thing you notice is how delicious the manual gear shift is. It vibrates, it's alive, it's connected. And also it's very, very satisfying to use. Now, the MX-5 you can get with a one and a half liter engine with 130 horsepower, it does not 60 in about eight and a half seconds. This is a two liter, 181 horsepower, and it does not 62 miles an hour in six and a half seconds, which is still slower than a lot of hot hatches. But as we will discover, the MX-5 isn't and never has been about outright speed. It's about driving joy and turning every drive into something special. Can it make Peterborough's dual carriageway system feel special? Well, we'll find out. Talk about refinement and safety, and then we'll hit the country roads. Let's go. Right, let's accelerate up to dual carriageway speed. The two liter engine, it does make this feel pretty quick, to be honest, and it's got a lovely sound to it. But obviously, I want to talk about how refined it is with the roof down. My head is actually not in the wind. I'm six foot three, so I'm probably at the upper limit of what you should do in an MX-5. I've got a bit of blowiness behind me that I can hear. But I think you could do long trips with the roof down without any bother. I might stick a hat on. Now, in terms of safety, this got a four-star Euro NCAP score, but it's from 2015 when this version of the MX-5 came out. 
and that crash test has got harder so this wouldn't be a four star car today but it's got some basic safety systems some of these have lane departure warnings some versions have blind spot monitoring but yeah really this is a car about getting on some open roads rather than worrying about pedestrian crash safety and stuff like that but anyway enough waffle about that let's go and do some twisty roads now the big deal about the mx5 is that it sends the power to the back wheels like a sports car should and that means that you feel yourself being pushed out of corners and it just makes it feel really really alive and engaging you can feel the road through the steering wheel lots of nerdy things like that makes me just sound like every other car journalist but believe me when you get in an mx5 it feels like no other car it feels really really special and you wonder how you can get this kind of sensation so affordably it's really good now the 1.8 liter engine models get something called a limited slip diff on the back axle which just helps you get traction out corners and it also means if you go to a car park and turn the traction control off you can do donuts but motor point doesn't condone that or recommend you do it if you really like your driving you'll be pleased to know you can do heel and toe downshifts and blip the throttle while you're braking all sorts of nerdy stuff but if you just want to go and have fun you're gonna love this. Whee! <laughs> the beauty of this is that it isn't super stiff and super ugh, serious. So when you go around a corner, it does roll a little bit, but that kind of makes it feel a bit comical and even more fun. This is a car that does not take itself too seriously and it gets two thumbs up from me in the driving department. What a wicked thing. Do not underestimate how fun this car is. It's brilliant. But anyway, I'm going to do some more driving back to Motor Point for an outro. So should you buy a Mazda MX-5? Well, if you want an impractical, but really, really fun, basic sports car for the road, then yes, it hasn't got too much power. It's not terrifying, but it gives you the thrill of driving. So yeah, go and buy one today because Mr. Banana is going to go and buy one. And I would quite like one as well. Please like this video if it's been helpful and subscribe to MotorPoint's YouTube channel. And remember to go to motorpoint.co.uk to see our full range of nearly new cars, which are all available to drive away today. You do have to pay first though. That's, that's all we ask.